The tech in the overall office by the new Chief of Defense Staff and the 20th Indigenous Chief of Naval Staff and his Air Force counterpart did not take place without reflecting on the mood of the nation as regards the menace of insurgents as the new chiefs reiterated commitment to totally wage war against terrorism. We must redouble our resolve at addressing these security challenges. This trust and confidence in my appointment will definitely reflect in the decisions I will take as Chief of the Naval Staff. We we'll leave no stone unturned in discharging our constitutional responsibilities and providing the necessary support and security for government in its quest for the change we all desire as a nation. Highlights of the occasion include the traditional military colors presentation and the presentation of telescope, as well as the lowering of ensigns of the services. The immediate past Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Usman Jibril, was honored with an award of excellence by the International Center for Proficiency, Canada. Nigerians also speak on the expectations from the new service chiefs. We want them to get into the root of the matter, not sparing anybody, not looking at anybody's face. Whoever that is actually behind what is happening security-wise in Nigeria should be dealt with. They should really put, put in their head and, and come out to something reasonable. I'm only expecting God to just do miracle. As the new service chiefs settle to face the challenge of office, especially at this crucial period in the history of the country, with a renewed offensive against insurgents and the last-minute desperate moves by the terrorists, Nigerians are full of expectations, saying the military slogan, never again, is better realized now than ever before with the new posture of the present administration. From the Defense Headquarters in Abuja, KG Busari Ahmed, NTA News.